Hi, this is Raven. Since I did that tutorial on how to create Intel, I had a subscriber ask if I could show them how to get Intel inside a vehicle. So it's a good idea because that would be nice for a mission. Um, this is a demo I've sort of set up and I'm going to show you that you can put it in a vehicle or in the inventory of an AI. Um, but before I show you the demo working, I'll just show you what you actually can use as, as the Intel or a prop. Um, now bear in mind, you will need the Apex DLC. It's not possible without that. But these items on the table are what you can use. So we've got here like a little black box. Um, it's supposed to be like the antidote. Uh, for one of the missions, we've got here some antibiotics. We've got here anti-malarial pills. We've got a smartphone, an old phone, a USB flash drive. We've got a key. But if you're going to use the key, you might want to reference the Locker 76 so that it, it sort of ties in nicely. We've got a set of files here. We've got this um, satellite phone that's open in a case. We've got a laptop closed. So obviously I, I chose the closed one. There is an open one, but if you're picking it up, it just looks a bit silly um, if you're trying to store it and it's open just for immersion. So a closed laptop. And then we've got some money. We've got a stack, a roll and a pile. So in this uh, tutorial I'm just going to use the file and one of the phones um, that's probably like the, the easiest one to add into a mission storyline so I'll show you what I've got working um, and then I'll show you how I did it and at the end I will put this mission in a zip folder uh, a link to my Dropbox for it and then you can open this up and play about with um, how I've done it Okay, I'll show you it working now. So we load in. And then we first task, locate the intel. Let's have a look at that. Tasks, locate the intel. So we've got two things here. Locate the file. Search the pickup truck at the airport for the intel file. Okay. Clear. Get the phone off the boss. Kill the boss and retrieve his phone. Okay, so we've got two bits there. So there's our truck. Look in there. And there's the files. Pick them up. So there, we've completed that part of it. Where's the boss? Oh, there he is. Now if we go to his uniform. There's the phone. We'll take that. And when we've completed that part of it, and now we've got a new task, hand over the items. So let's click on that. And both pieces of Intel to the trader. And if we look in our back in our uniform, you can see we've got the files and the and the phone. Go as a trader. Hand over Intel. There you go. Task complete. Hand over. Oh, we've got a new, new task. And I'll just show you. So the task there. Locate the laptop for the trader. And then here we've got search vehicles in the parking bays for the laptop. If I just go into the inventory, you can see that the phone and the files are gone. So what I did over here, put three three cars and I've done it so that it the laptop will spawn randomly in one of these three. So let's go and check which one it's in. Not in that one. Not in that one. There it is, laptop. So we'll grab that. There we go. Task completed. Hand over laptop. Hand 
hand over laptop. Task complete. So we've completed all our tasks. We look in our inventory and we've got none of those items. So that's like a little small demo to sort of show you you can um, put those bits in the in the mission. And I'll show you how we um, go about setting it up. Right, so I'm in the mission folder. And the first file we're going to look at is the init file. So just so you're aware, if you don't know, the init file is something that will, that will fire as soon as the mission starts. So anything you want to happen at the start of the mission, you want to put it in the init file. So we'll open that up. So as you see, I've just put a, a little note there. You must have the Apex DLC. But most of you that have bought armor um, will have bought the armor Apex edition. So our first one here is the so this this bit here is the random spawn. So I've put car one, car two, car three. So there were three cars in the lot. And then I've put the laptop there. Now down, I'll come to these bits in a minute, but down here, I've put all of those things that were on the table, I've put down here and what they're, what they're called or what, what they're called and what they are, just so you've got some idea. So this is the, the name that we use in the script in the quotation so you literally just copy and paste inside the quotation and I'll just give you a, little, a brief description of what they what they are so you can, you can go down because some might not be um, completely obvious so flash disk I've put USB flash drive it's more descriptive and then keys that is a single key with a red tag and it's got a, a description of locker 76 but it's called keys, which is not very helpful. So that bit there is to set up the random spawn in the in one of those three cars. This bit here is to put the files in that pickup truck. So the pickup truck, the name of it is called truck. The name of the those three cars I've put in there: car one, car two, and car three. And the smartphone that we put on the boss obviously I've called up the AI boss so that was his name so you put that in there and uniform container so it'll go in, in his uniform but obviously if you want it in his vest then it will be it'll just change that that first bit to vest or backpack and then that puts the smartphone in there so all this is doing is putting those items in place for your mission to start. So the next thing we're going to look at is what happens when we pick those items up. So now we've covered the init part of it, we're going to cover the part where we hand the information over to the trader. So I've, I've laid it all out so you can go for it yourself but the first trigger so this trigger is fired when the file complete trigger and the phone complete trigger are done and then what it's going to do is it's going to add in an action so we add in the action hand over intel and then hand over intel one true so this trigger is just literally adding the add action to our trader the next trigger when we interact with the add action, this trigger is then fired, which runs this SQF file. So that's it, that's all you all you got to do. And what we'll do is we'll go through that SQF file. So here's the first handover. So we've we've clicked handover files to the guy. So then what it does is remove the files from the player, remove the smartphone from the player, and then it's just 
sleep one, so just wait one second, and then make that task complete. So that 1.3 is hand over the task, and because that's the final part of the main task, we'll wait one second, and then we'll fire task 1.0. So 1.0 is get all the intel and hand it over. 1.3 was hand it over. So we want to complete that second task. And then that last bit there is removing the add action. So he's ready for another action and it's not, it's not there all the time because it just doesn't look right otherwise. So it's quite simple. Um, and then we'll go back to armor and I will show you the, the next. So it's exactly the same. So trigger activated, laptop complete trigger. So basically that, that will fire when we've collected the laptop. And then once that's fired, it will give us another, that other add action, hand the, over the laptop, which will then, once we hand it over, it will fire this one which will activate this SQF file. So if we look at that SQF file, there we go. So obviously it's very similar to the first one, pretty straightforward. So remove the laptop from the player, wait one second, make that part of the task where we've handed over complete. And then because that all those t subtasks within that task are complete, we want to complete the, the main task, which is two. And wait one second. The wait one second are quite important because if you don't put a sleep in there, like a, a wait time in there, these two would fight each other and it would come out in random order. So this one might get completed, the notification might come up before that one. So you, you always want to put a, a wait time between them of at least one second. That's it. Um, go back to the armor demo. These are all the tasks. Um, and these are all the, the triggers that fire the tasks. So I'll let you go through that in your own time, just to keep this video short. Um, and I hope that was helpful. Okay, good luck.